Come Apescape. back! Apescape! I love this game. I'm playing through this one. This is Eric playing, I'm just commentary. Unless Eric like, needs to take a break for any reason, then you'll see me be horrible at this game. But hopefully, we just have Eric playing. I, I love this game. Um, so, we, we are going to have to do some voice acting on this one, because it's, oh, it's so good. It's it's 90s voice acting. And I promise we actually have the voice actors talking this yeah. time. Yeah, oh yeah. We are working, but it's... <laughs> When we have when we have him be decent, you can't hear him. Then we have him be like total crap. I love how he runs, <laughs> Jake. Dude, he's like the original. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Keep talking, you slow bro. So you you play as the red haired kid. You play as Spike, um, and then that is his. Uh, in the nineties, every kid had a rival, and in this game, your rival is Jake. Oh no. His mustache is his mouth. Yep. <laughs> it's Spectre! No, no. Run, you two. Uh, Monkey? <laughs> He's just like, uh, is this, is this the right button? He just sort of pointed this <laughs> thing. Uh, they only have enough, uh, polygons and stuff to make one button stand out, so I hope yeah. he it. I mean, actually, there's the thing. I always felt like this game actually was one of the games that pushed. It actually did a lot of, of pushing of the PlayStation hardware shit. We'll get into a lot of the cool stuff that this game does as we uh, as I play and I'll explain a lot of that stuff. I love, uh, like, <laughs> I love how, He's like the precursor of Shmayman. Yeah, pretty much. He is the monkey Shmayman. <laughs> the monkey Shmayman? Well, they both start with this. Whoa. <laughs> look, on, look on both their faces like, holy Whoa. shit. I am glad that we were bound and tied up with this awesome rope that makes sure that we don't get teleported into the future yeah, or it's, past it's or time whatever. restriction ropes okay so it's a if, good thing specter thought of that <laughs> if you're not familiar at all with ape escape pretty much what it is is the that white monkey his name is specter and he is actually a, a monkey that was the pet of the professor which was the dude that you saw this guy and um he obtained something called a peak point helmet which is like a, a helmet that makes you super smart which is one of the uh uh, professor's inventions he left it out because he's a dangle and uh he puts it on and gets all the monkeys free from this big old monkey park that they have and equips them all with peak point helmets and then he wants to change history so he sends all of his monkeys back through time and all this other crazy crap just so he can uh change uh the course of history and so you as spike being sent into this weird time station as well then are equipped with a stun club and a time net, and you go to catch monkeys. You hit them with a stick, and you bop them with a net, and it's great. It's dumb. I love it. But what this game was unique for was it is the first game on the PlayStation that required, that I recall, that required the uh, the dual analog sticks. So it controls really, really oddly as well, which I think throws a lot of people off at first. Because you don't, it's not like you have like a swing button. It's like you use the stick to swing. So, like, left stick moves you around still, but right stick is what you use to work all your gadgets. Dude, that guy's just dancing. This is chilling out there. And then you, you gotta catch these monkeys. And catch them. That's pretty much the whole game. Also, I, 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 don't, like, I don't like how that's set up. I gotta, I gotta put that at his X. I don't know, it just, it's weird for me not to have it. And all the while, you kill enemies, and your, your health is cookies, and you just have a great old time running around. That's Apescape. <laughs> but I played this game a lot. This was... This was my Mario 64. When I was a kid. Or my, uh, Banjo-Kazooie. I don't know. I, I would say this is probably your Mario 64 over Banjo-Kazooie. Probably. Because Banjo-Kazooie came out, like, way later than this did. I remember having this before Banjo. Yeah. I mean, maybe my Mario 64 was, like, Crash Bandicoot Warped or something. Actually, no, wait. Never mind. I take that back. No, uh... I had a PlayStation late. Yeah. So whenever I got Ape Escape, I had already I was already in North Carolina. Yeah. But I got Banjo Kazooie in uh I was definitely in Ohio, so I I can't say for certain certain based on my past you when these great. games came out. Yeah. But uh, I know I don't know, it feels like Banjo Kazooie would have come out later than this. Because it just feels like a more fleshed out 3D environment. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, the thing about this game, like, the most obvious thing about this game, well, this is the time station, and I love how you have, like, your face in the middle, your little chibi face. But, like, the big, uh, the big thing about this one is, uh, like, because it's the, uh, you didn't have a lot of 3D platformers on PlayStation because they kind of highlight the big, one of the PlayStation's major weaknesses, and that's, uh, draw distance. It's really bad. Yeah. But, um, oh, yeah. Look what I've got! A new gadget! Check it out! This the Aqua Blaster machine, man. It this this just lets you catch monkeys in the water and swim. That's all it is. I just wonder how our hair stays up like that. <laughs> oh, you, you look you look at this guy who looks like he dunked his head in a freaking gallon of freaking well, that's hair gel. That's simple. He woke up like a his bed here. <laughs> he looks like more like red haired kid club to me. Yeah. <laughs> he just woke up and he got that anime hair whenever he wakes <laughs> up. Like it's just how it works. But she like tied her hair up. And it's just like <laughs> straight out. Like, I would think it would have some sort of droop to it because it's just so heavy. Yeah. But it doesn't. Um, I, I know it's, 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 uh, it's the PlayStation and uh, hair physics were not their number one. Ah, uh, no, no. Number one uh, thing. They were like, hey, look, we made a character and it can move in a 3D environment. Yep. Isn't that awesome? And then there's me going, why is their hair, <laughs> why is their hair <laughs> physics wrong? And they're like, "What? What are? What's wrong with you?" I'm like, "Come on, '90s, step it up." But uh, I don't know if I if I made games in the '90s, all of their hair would just be like down, <laughs> or they'd all just have really short hair that can't move. I'd be like, "Man, you guys need to get your hair physics on." Like, all my <laughs> all my characters have their hair physics. Like, your characters don't have hair, exactly. I start <laughs> one step they, ahead. They gotta all be bald. And just all have bald. No I hate th these guys are the worst, but um, they're not. No, like, don't, don't even. Lie. When you get to the blue ones, like later, yeah, they they're assholes. But um, now I think I think actually, if I had to say what was my Mario sixty four, would have to be Crash Bandicoot. Ah, oh, I got punched in the face. What a dickhole monkey. Yeah, so they they don't just run around dropping stuff. They they do attack you. Later they get. Oh boy, oh boy, do they get just. What 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 did I get stuck on? Whatever. That's stuck on the, the mailbox. <laughs> they get they get so dickish, lady. Yeah. Stupid monkeys. But no, Ape Escape. This is like a super nostalgia childhood game for me. So hopefully we won't have the whole issue of like, we go, we do. We'll get that monkey later. What? Hey, hey, stop! Stop! Stop it! Whoa! Check it out. <laughs> A new gadget. I hate the Aqua Net so can't much. Use. It's so awkward. I, I don't like the Aqua thing that much. It's just it's really awkward for me to use. Cause like, like to 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 dive. I don't know if you guys saw it before, but to dive you have to push the left stick in, and to shoot you have to push the right stick. It just it's really weird. It has such a goofy control scheme. Like R1 is jump. It's I don't know. I guess I have a thing for games with goofy control schemes. Cause I like the I like armored core as well, and that's just oh god, oh god, that that control scheme is weird as fuck. Yes, it's just a. I think because I was playing some platformers recently, and then I uh, tried to play this for you, like whenever you went to the yeah. bathroom or something like that, and I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I was just like, every single time, all I did was hit the X button or like something to jump, yep. and I'm just like, God, why is it R1? It's weird. Like That should not be <laughs> that should not be a jump button. Ever. <laughs> it, it is. This game has such, it has the goofiest control scheme, but once you get used to it, it's it would feel weird to not play Ape Escape with, without without this kind of control scheme. If you say so. I mean, like, I and you get like a bunch of other cool moves. And other... You know what would really, really help uh, Ape Escape out? What? As far as controls go? Uh, Motion controls. Oh yeah, oh yeah, totally. Like like yeah. <laughs> like you actually have to swing in that. Oh, that would suck so much, dude. Yeah, yeah. You can barely aim as is, and then you gotta run imprecise freaking motion. I, I feel like this would be a great game for the Kinect. Oh yeah. Everyth oh yeah. Everything's better with Kinect. Everything's better with Kinect. Enhance the game with Kinect. Thank God Microsoft does not own this property. <laughs> put, put no handstands. Hey, at least you know. If I'm gonna get shot. I'm gonna get shot. Yep. <laughs> Bastard. But like. At least Sony, like, their motion controls are, like, the best. Yeah, the move was pretty fun. The move, like, yeah, no, there were there was nothing good for it other than Sports Champions, <laughs> which was, like, Wii Sports except good. Um, <laughs> and it had Dallas. 
Dallas. He was the greatest. He's the best. But like, I, I do remember playing Stop. that. Like, I played that game. And I used the move, and it actually worked. Where whenever I played the Wii, it didn't. And then I played the Connect at friends' houses and stuff. And I was like, this is the worst, <laughs> like, absolute, bar none, worst motion controls I've ever played with. But yeah, no, I, I feel like if if PlayStation did move controls for this game, it would somehow feel better. Yeah. Um, especially with their VR thing coming out. Oh yeah, they got a whole VR thing. <laughs> that's that's what they could do, cause like, Ape Escape's not really the hardest concept. Nah. And if you look at all the VR games, they all suck. Like, I have not seen a single VR game that makes me go, "Wow, this looks like spending eight hundred dollars on a system and then, like, buying all the games and all the extra stuff and renovating a room so that I can actually play it." Like, it, there's nothing that makes it seem like it would be at all worth it. But I feel like if there was a game like Ape Escape, even if it was just like this, these graphics, yeah, it was basic and VR, and like you actually help catch the monkeys, that would be cool. But at the same time, the biggest thing I have with VR is like you can't move. Like if I, I can't want, move for shit. Like you can't, you, like you can't move your legs at all. Like you have like your square space thing, and then like you have to keep pointing where you want to move your space to yeah. in the world. So it's not like you're actually moving. Yeah. Which completely, to me, just takes me out of it. It's just so weird. Yeah, you can like look at the ground and like point at it and like oh. Or move here. or you're playing a video game where you're just stationary. Yeah. I'm like, God, who wants that? No one. Not a soul wants that. <laughs> like, I'm, I I understand like the things that they're making with VR. Is amazing. The fact that they can do it is outstanding, but it's still not a game that I think anyone would shovel out money for, unless you're just very loose with your money. Yeah. Like you did not expect. Like there's no way you could expect any quality from it. So at the same time, it's a good thing there are those people that are really loose with their money because then we want to get the better version. Yeah, of fix course. It. Yeah. Like if people didn't have all that money to buy like all the Connect shit, and then they, and then they, they did make a better version of the Connect, but even still, it's still well, shit still Connect. Well, that's because they were using it for things that they didn't need. Yeah. Like, who cares if, like, I can say Connect, do this for me, or, hey Connect, you know what's fun? Uh, why don't you start my game for me? Yeah. Connect start. Connect <laughs> Connect start. Connect start. Oh. No, stop! Not that one. Stop. <laughs> Next stop. And by the end of it, you're just like, fuck it, where's my controller? Uh, a. I hit the A, but oh, I started the game. Tap the button. Yeah. Oh, oh, we got a message. You I, I'm sorry I skipped the previous thing. We're just going to another area. He looks like he has panties on his head. Well, no, that... <laughs> He's, no, that, that looks like some red lacy panties on his head. I'm you know, sorry. I didn't think about that before. He's got like a metal belt yeah. part of it, and then just... It's it's a it's a it's a chastity belt for his brain. <laughs> it's a chastity helmet. I only use my my true intellect for my for my for, for my, my sweetie. Yeah, for, that's that's when I really think at her. But that's his augmented people. Uh, but helmet. no, doesn't it? It looks. Yeah, just it does. Like, I never thought about. I mean, when you're a kid, you're not gonna be all like. I just thought he was he looked like a dick. I'm like, where do you get the armor from? That was what I was more curious about. But like, oh. but now with the freaking panty. So there you go. You, you grow up. <laughs> You grow up, you go from like, man, armor is pretty cool. Where would you get that? <laughs> <Dude>. To <laughs> he looks like he has panties on his head. Main villain's got panties. He's a panty head. <laughs> That's he's a, amazing. Uh, he went. He went back in time just to steal panties from everyone, like all well, the different eras. Well, it is. It is a Japanese game. I, I would not be surprised. Yeah, I mean, why Japan? Real talk. <laughs> why haven't you made that game yet? I would buy that game. Going to like all the different like big key points in history and stealing panties, <laughs> stealing, stealing panties, just stealing girls. panties from like all the girls. That would be an amazing game. I mean, I would probably have to play it in like a shed somewhere so that no one would ever find me playing it. But I'd play it, and I'd feel extremely guilty while playing it the of entire course. time. But it would probably be because you know with games like that, yeah. they're just so stupidly so fun. Dumb. You're so it's dumb. so fun though, because it's just it's just good gameplay with the stupidest bullshit concept. Yeah, and you're just like, oh, I just don't want anyone to find me playing this. Because <laughs> they're always gonna walk in at the worst time. It happens every single time. You're gonna play game like <laughs> You think you can scare me? Um, what happened to his eyes? He he's under peak point control. 
I've always wanted to fight you, cause uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Jake, I'm stupid. Dumb. Jake the Snake. <laughs> Jake the Snake Roberts. No. That's the only thing I can think of, like, everyone's like, hey, you got nicknames? I'm like, Jake the Snake? Yeah. I can't even, like, even if their name is not Jake, I'm just yeah, like, Yeah, Jake the Snake. <laughs> snake, Jake, and they're like, but my name's, like, Austin. <laughs> Snake Jake. Like my name is my name's Robert. Like it's not even close to Snake. Uh, the hell, dude. Time paradox. <laughs> <laughs> snake, Jake, Snake. What I always like though about this game is is how much they're able to produce. Oh, I, I guess it isn't. It's fine because they have they have time travel, but it, they just make so much shit all at once. Like he's got this super helmet now, and wait, well, yeah, it's time travel. Yeah, he's got time travel. So wait, 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 what? He built that whole like throne room. Yeah. Like, on a lawn. Yeah. Like, as they were zooming out, yeah. it's just, here's some grass. Yep. Alright, well, you know what? I think we should wait. Wait for it. Okay, we can do, like, one age at a time or something. Yeah, we're... I mean, let's see. Yeah, there, there's, there's some victory bells here. We need to, yeah. We need to show them the victory bells at the end of this. Yeah. Okay. Or another time. So, uh, see you guys. We'll see you next time.